Hi, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Paitska International, nail artist and educator. And today we are going to do the promised perfume bottles. Uh, you can have a look in here how they look. A little bit of the encapsulated flowers inside glitters uh, and a bottle uh, shape of the perfume and I promised you guys this tutorials like ages ago because I discovered it uh, during uh, one of the other tutorials and guess what the square pieces of the silver and the gold metal uh, nail art arrived just a day after I have recorded this tutorial so that was like oh no I wanted to really show you the square bottle uh, but uh, as I keep saying it on the tutorial if you've got the square ones use them because it looks absolutely fantastic uh, for those style of nail art I hope you really enjoy uh, recreating those kind of designs if you do hashtag the Rota Paitska because I will be very happy to see them as well let's start So yeah, that's the, uh, as I say, promised uh, perfume bottles. And those who watched the tutorial on the um, uh, previous uh, videos, uh, you know how I got the idea. And this one has a wee pump, so I'm not going to repeat this design uh, because you can just clearly see it's like a two bars in here, like a wee caviar beads and, uh, um, and the gold gem. And also some flowers which are encapsulated inside, but I will show you how to recreate a different styles and this one keep it for inspiration. So I've got my tip in here. Just give it a bath. I will show you two different ones because uh, like honestly my head is kind of really exploding with all different ideas of those perfume bottles. And I think they could be popular because there is so many, uh, even when I was searching for some decors uh, inside the house, like uh, the bottles uh, of the perfumes, shoes and uh, things like that are really popular in a home decor. So why not on the nails? And we are going to use, I've got too many stuff, too much stuff on my desk now. We are going to use those uh, wee gold thing. It's a shame I don't have a square one or a rounded ones, but I'm still waiting for a delivery. So we are going to unfortunately make only the rounded ones. And I've got some tool which you can off, uh, find it on Amazon, 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 I even don't know how to pronounce it. And uh, on eBay as well, where you basically just put those wee gems inside. And you squish them to the shape of the nail. So I've got one. Oh, fiddly, fiddly. And the second one. And now they are going to fit into the nails. We are going to use the base gel, which holds the gems amazing, like I do really recommend it. I didn't lose any crystals like at all. And then some old brush, don't use for a crystals placement, um, good brushes. And I'm just going to paint it rounded shape in here. Maybe we will do, no, we have to do them from this way so they're standing. Place it in, put it inside the lamp. And then we are going to do exactly the same in here. But imagine this one is square. Yeah, I'm, I'm believing in your imagination. <laughs> I wish to have the square ones, but I just don't have it yet. Pop it inside the lamp. So in this one, on the top, we are going to apply something which is the neck of the bottle. Let me see what I've got, what we could use for a neck of the bottle. I've got all sorts of different uh, crystals and bits and pieces. 
so the neck of the bottle for this one oh actually I'm going to use this I'm going to use the moon and this is pretty nice too So this is going to be the neck of the bottle. Just squeezing a couple of the gold beads. A bit more base on the top. And now we are going to place this moon here. Oh, that's maybe a little bit too high. Forget that. We are going to do the neck from the gems, the caviar bits only. And that is much better. Okay, so this is a, let me place it a bit straighter, very fiddly. Give it a flash cure. And then on this one, we are going to do slightly different neck as well. And I'm needing some triangles, so triangles. One triangle and that's actually how the idea came when I was doing the first bottle then the caviar bit And then we need to fill up our perfumes uh, with some cute perfume inside and I will show you how to do that. Actually, let's make it bow in here. But anyway, it's good, like you could only keep it on the one side or you could make it like I did on both sides. Okay, pop it inside the lamp. And then we are going to place something inside. So let me see what else I've got. I've got lots of stuff in here, which is pretty cool. We could place a love heart. If this right, if these letters would be smaller, we could also place the letters inside the bottle. Maybe they squeeze in. Oh my goodness, yes, they are squeezing in. So this bottle will have like a loft inside. Okay, so to place this loft inside, we need to do first of all some background. And to create the background, we are going to use some glitter. 
this time. I'm taking a little bit of the base, dipping it in, in my glitter. So the glitter is a perfume. And then on top of that, we are going to place this loft in here. Because this is a pretty heavy crystal, we need to cook it just so it doesn't move. And then in here, we are going to encapsulate some dry flowers. And I've got all sorts of different ones. We will go for them. So I'm just taking out a little bit of it. And what I find it, I find it that when I squish them, they look much nicer. So I'm squishing them. Like make them flatter. Oh, and break them. <laughs> That's it. And now I can cut them. Put a tiny bit of the gel polish color. So I'm going to go for a pink. It is mixed with the base because you don't want it, it to be too strongly pigmented, like the perfume bottles are see-through. So lots of base in there. Just to create the color. And the higher you go, make it lighter looking. And then pick up those flowers. One flower, second flower, and another one on the bottom. Give it a cook. If you've got different shape of the flowers, you could use them as well. Then on this one, I'm just going to apply the top coat around it and then base in the place where we've got the love heart. Not love heart, the love letters. <laughs> it's so much fun creating those type of um, design. And then encapsulate that with the base gel. You could also use the sculpting gel for this part as well. Put it upside down for a couple seconds and then flash cure it and on this one we are going to encapsulate those flowers as well so again you could use the sculpting gel and if you create some air bubbles is this actually awesome so to create the air bubbles you have to lift your brush a couple of times like lift and put in because then it looks like it looks like a perfume with the air bubble in there. Put it inside. Just another layer. Cook it inside. Then this one is finished, so it can go to the collection as well. And we have to apply the top coat on this one. You can also apply the top coat on the places where you've got the crystal, like the perfume. Just so you don't have to use the um, gel um, inhibition layer remo remover. 
and then top coat this design. I would suggest you search like an inspiration from the perfume bottles and then you could uh, recreate and create your own ones as well. Uh, something slightly different, maybe even more interesting. Uh, also depending what kind of uh, crystals and bits and pieces you've got. But that's my perfume bottles and I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, let me know down in the comments below what else you would like to see. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. Glittery hacks and bye for now!